Welcome to The Cross in the Desert, Speaking Hope and Freedom to Iran. I'm your host, Randy L. Noble, and I want to say a big thank you for you taking out the time in your busy life to join me today. I want to talk about major and massive closings in Iran. Just recently, a very well-known water park, one of the biggest ones in the world, was closed down by the government in the city of Mashhad, Iran. Now, that's a big deal. The city of Mashhad is a very sacred city with a very important mosque dedicated to the religion of Shia Islam in Iran. Now, why was that water park closed down? Well, because many of the people that come, which are women, refuse to wear their hijab. And if you know anything about my program, The Cross in the Desert, I am always talking about the oppressive government and what they do to the women in Iran. There is a law in Iran that you must be veiled when going out publicly or you can be fined and arrested. Well, this water park, according to the government, wasn't adhering to the hijab law, even though the manager told the media that's not true. Well, the government has also been closing down bookshops, cafes, clothing stores in major cities. Again, the reason is that the owners of those businesses are allowing females to come in not wearing hijabs. And so the government is using the oppressive hijab law to put down women's rights to their body and to their mind. They don't have a right to make their own choices. But let me tell you about another closing that you may have not heard a lot about. And I'm talking about the religion of Islam in Iran. There is a report that says there's about 75,000 Islamic mosques all over the country of Iran. Did you know that 50,000 mosques have closed their doors? Where do the worshipers go? And why is that? Why has not only the government taking a very stiff upper hand, a dictatorial <clears throat> advantage over businesses, closing them down, but now even the mosques are closing down? Why? Well, think about it. Islam is supposed to be the most important, the most important, fastest growing religion in the world. Now, this is Shia Islam, not Sunni Islam, but still it's Islam. What is happening in Iran to cause that? Well, I think if you follow my program, The Cross in the Desert, you know exactly the reason for these major massive closures of the mosques. You see, in Islam, in the government of Iran, there is no separation between the government and the religion. They're all one, unlike the United States that supposedly has a clause, separation of church and state. In Iran, they're all one. In the Middle East, there is no distinction between the government, the ruling class, and its religion. And so when the government goes out and punishes people, like women imprisons them, finds them, beats them, there's no freedom. That is the government and religion speaking at the same time. It's Sharia law. And when people are constantly exposed to this day in and day out, when they see innocent, peaceful protesters being shot and killed in these uprisings, the people, young and old, in Iran are beginning to lose interest. And they want to have nothing to do with an oppressive religion like that. And so you can understand why, in the last decade, if not sooner, 50,000 mosques have closed their doors to worshipers. Let me tell you what is going on. The God of the Bible has a huge plan for the people of Iran. And in fact, if you follow my program, you know all about the underground house church movement in Iran, where many Muslim men and women in name only are so tired. They're so spiritually oppressed. 
that they find out when they get on the internet and when they watch satellite programming in their own homes, which is illegal, they're finding their hope and freedom in a God of love. They're finding the peace that passes all understanding in Jesus. It was Jesus who said in John chapter 6, verse 35, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Can you imagine those words? When the Muslims, in name only, when the young Iranian people hear Jesus, say, look, if you're tired and oppressed, come to me, I'll give you rest. If you believe in me, you're not going to hunger or thirst. When they find out that he's a God of love that satisfies their spiritual appetite, then they found the answer. They found the truth. With the closing of these mosques in Iran, there is a spiritual void in the hearts of many other people. And what is happening is God's spirit is being poured out. Waves are being poured out into this country. And they are finding their hope and freedom in a person, Jesus Christ. In my book, Uprising, that I just published this last March, you can see the cover here, Uprising, We Are the Revolution, God was very generous to give me a prophetic word for this nation. And as you think about these 50,000 mosques that have closed, I want you to hear what God spoke to me and I put in my book. I want to read this first paragraph. Waves of my glory and waves of restoration are coming soon to your land, O Iran. I will break into pieces the hardened soils of death and destruction that has plagued you for more than 40 years and will cause the rose of Persia to blossom once again. Refreshment and restoration are coming back to your land. I have not forgotten you. I am breathing new life into your hearts and minds. Very soon, the walls of this present evil regime will come crumbling down because of the faithful prayers of my elect. The walls are falling. The Spirit is calling. There is a vast reservoir of human beings that are hurting and oppressed in Iran. And they don't want to go to the mosque, but Jesus says to them, Come to me, you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. When you think about the massive closure of the mosques in Iran, you know that God is carrying out a plan for the people of Iran to give them hope and freedom and a future again and i believe with all of my heart that prophecy that he gave me in that book is going to come to pass there is an opportunity now for ma many hurting people in iran to find their hope and freedom in jesus who says i am the bread of life whoever comes to me shall not hunger and whoever believes in me shall never thirst jesus is satisfying the thirst and the hunger of millions of Iranians. And you know what? That's a big reason why 50,000 of them have closed their doors. Thank you so much for joining me today on this edition, this video edition of The Cross in the Desert. God bless you. Have a great week. I'll see you soon again.